everyone, this is Maria, and today is the day that I'm finally going to put together these micro mini whimsies that I purchased at Michael's several years ago. Oh my gosh, you guys, I remember being so excited because I got these for such a great deal. And so Joey was sitting in the car in the parking lot, and I remember when I went out there with my bags with a big old smile, and he was like, what did you get? And I was so excited to share these with him. But you guys, they have sat in my craft bins for all of these years. And today is the day I decided that I'm finally going to put them together. And so let me go ahead and just show you a little bit of these. And so these right here, I got several sets. I think I have eight packages. There's two in a package, micro mini whimsies, and it says four pieces because we have two glass domes and then we have two of the cork stoppers. And so look how small these are, you guys. And then here are some of the miniatures. Oh my gosh, this one right here caught my eye, the little farmhouse. Actually, it's a barn and the silo here and fence. And so, and then look at this, the tree house and there's a squirrel and a turtle. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting excited now. And then there's a unicorn, looks like maybe two unicorns. This one has wings. And here is a little fairy or a princess, looks like a princess and a unicorn. And then here's some little critters. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this castle and the princess all glittery. Check this out, the octopus. And I forget what this is called. And so, but anyways, here's some more of the domes. Oh, and then we have this, you guys. There's grass with trees. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting excited. Oh, and then check this out. This is the sandcastle and the mermaid. She looks happy because we're finally going to put this together. I have another mermaid. Look at the little car. And then look at this, you guys, the little snow and the tree. So here is the princess with the castle. And here she is in her glass dome. I didn't have to glue the cork down. It fits perfectly. And so I'm trying not to catch that glare. And then I put some of the little grass on the bottom here. Look how cute this is really really sweet there we go and so let me show you the next one and here is the princess with the unicorn and here is the princess and the unicorn in the glass globe i'm going to try not to catch a glare which is really difficult you guys but look how cute this is really like that and then here's the one with the woodland critters and here they are inside the dome. And I added the little trees and a little bit of snow. This one is so cute. Look at this, the little sand castle with the mermaid. This barely fit inside. That's why I couldn't use all of them, you guys, because all of the little structures, like the sand castle fit in here, but then I had this little barn that would not fit. And so I don't understand why they would make this size a dome, but all of the items didn't fit, unless there was a different size dome. But look at this, look how cute this is. I really love this. And this one is really cute too, the little tree house. I really love this. It has two little critters, a little turtle, and it also has a squirrel, and I added the grass. And these two came in the same package, the little Pegasus and the unicorn. I had to put them in separate domes because they wouldn't fit in the same one together. And then I just added the little grass right beneath their little feet, so cute. So remember the little barn, the little red barn that I just mentioned would not fit into one of the domes. Well, the barn was so cute. I just loved it so much. I thought, let me see what I have around the house and maybe I can find something where it would fit. And I did, you guys. I found this little jar here. Look how cute that looks. I didn't put any grass or snow in here. I thought I could put a little ribbon around the lid. I haven't done that yet. And so the only thing I would do differently is I would glue all the little trees to the barn, around the barn, and there's like a little bush back here. And I would have done that first before gluing the barn in because then it was really difficult. I had to use tweezers. And as it was, I had to use tweezers to lower the little chickies in. Aren't they cute? And so let's see if you could see that. I just really like this, you guys. I love these little jars that you get at the craft store. And then I have one more. This morning, I was wondering, what can I use to make this little scene, this little beach scene? And so I ended up using this little mint box. Look how cute this is. And so I just put some little felt, some tan felt for the sand. And then I thought I need a backdrop. 
and I didn't have any blue felt or not even any blue paper, you guys. And then I thought, oh, my Westways magazine from our AAA insurance company that comes in the mail all the time. And it was the summer issue and I found the beach. Look how cute this is. And this is just a little tin mint container that I got from Trader Joe's. You can see the lid. And then it says here, have a blast. And so here it is, you guys. There's the little sand castle, the mermaid, and then there's a little octopus. And I always forget what this is called. And so I can't remember that. And then we have a little seashell. I have a little beach in the bottle. And so that's one of my DIYs. And maybe I'll go ahead and list that. And so it's so much fun to make. And I love it. And I've had it up for years. And so I just love the beach, you guys. And so this was a lot of fun to make. And that's where I got the seashell, you guys, for my beach in the bottle. I just borrowed it from there. And I just hot glued everything down. And then to glue the paper down, I just used a glue stick. And so I just thought this was so cute. I just love it. Looks like so much fun. So I can go to the beach, you guys, just by looking at this. It's so cute. Also, I want to mention that I almost threw this out the other day, you guys, because I had cleaned my car out and I had a couple of mint tins in there and I was about to throw it in the trash. And then I thought, no, I should keep that for a while. And I'm so glad that I did. So I'm so happy that I finally got these done. I love them, they make me smile. And so I need to find a special place for them. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later and happy crafting. Bye everyone, stay safe and stay well, bye.